so much for the autumn constellations, but we have one brilliant planet there too, Jupiter. Look at it through your telescope, you see its belts, its moons, and its changing surface. It was the subject of our yearly competition to select the Astrophotographer of the Year, and the winner actually lives in Selsey, and Paul Abel went to see him. Well, I'm here in Selsey to meet a rather famous astronomer. Not Patrick Moore, but Damien Peach, the celebrated lunar and planetary photographer. Damien's high-resolution images of the moon and planets, most of them taken here from his garden, show that you can take extraordinary pictures from a very ordinary setting. Damien moved to Selsey just a few years ago for the clear skies. What with Patrick and Peter around the corner, Selsey has become a bit of an astronomical hotspot. His winning shot is of Jupiter and its two moons, Ganymede and Io. You can actually see surface detail on the moons. Quite amazing. Hello, Damien. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Yes, I'm good, thanks. It's a very impressive setup you've got here. And Thank you. Congratulations on winning Astrophotographer of the Year award. Thank you must you. be very proud. Yeah, That's absolutely. Phenomenal picture of Jupiter. But we should tell everybody, shouldn't we? You didn't take it here, did you? Sadly, not. No, <laughs> I, I wish I could say I did. But uh, no, it was taken from uh, the Caribbean island of Barbados. Yes, you got some good seeing, didn't you? It's... Yes, it's a, it's a great location for it. And how did you come to get into astronomy, in particular into planetary astronomy? I've always had a real fascination with the planets. I yeah. think because they're dynamic objects. They change they, over a night. Absolutely. They, yeah, they're, they're, they're changing, they're colourful, you, you can see so much on them and that's really what really attracted me to it. I would imagine Jupiter would be a good beginner's target, would it? it it's a fantastic uh, target. Even, even with a pair of binoculars you can see a small yeah. disc and, and the yeah. four bright moons either side. As it, perhaps aside from the moon, it's one of the best objects that a uh, beginner could, could look at. What about the moons themselves? Because I mean I remember a time when it was thought the moons of Jupiter were dead, mm. cold, inanimate mm. objects. Yeah. And now we know that you know some of the most exciting objects in the solar system and that you can get detail on them now. I think that's just remarkable. Yeah, as camera technology has developed from film to CCD and now we have high-speed CCD cameras, it's allowed us to really exploit the resolving power yeah. of, of telescopes and, and it's really allowed us to kind of start recording detail on the moons you know, quite regularly. And the black magic that you invoke. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, so always a bit of that sprinkled on it. Absolutely. Jupiter is at opposition next month. Now is really the, the kind of best time to, to look at Jupiter, you know, because obviously with the planet's opposition, meaning um, it is actually, you know, opposite the sun in the sky, so... Visible all night. Vi visible all night. Step out on a clear night in October around 10 o'clock. Um, you would not fail to notice no, that it's literally absolutely. the brightest star-like object in the sky. And of course, opposition, a good time to start imaging or drawing or any time that you want to make a serious start on the planet because, as you say, it's visible all night and at its closest. So yeah, that's right. Let's yep. hope that uh, many people following your footsteps, Damien, quite a few also stick with the drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, thank you very thank you much. Paul. You can see the rest of the winners by finding a link via our website, bbc.co.uk slash sky at night. Here you will also find our newsletter, number 123, with Patrick and Pete's advice on what to look out for over the next few months. Our Flickr site is also doing well. We have 2,000 members with over 10,000 astronomical images for you to look at. Here is a recent posting from John Kemp with his Aurora over Whitstable. Well, congratulations to all those who take part. Next month, when I come back, I'll be talking about Mars and the probe Curiosity, which is going there. Until then, good night. Astronomer Royal Martin Rees shares his celestial choice of essential classics, including the Planet Suite, tomorrow morning at 10.30 on BBC Radio 3.